So this is my 18th year here at um, to be a teacher. My first two years, I was here at um, junior high, and I taught seventh grade, seventh and eighth grade math. Then I transferred over to Chalmers Elementary, which uh, there, my first five years there, I taught uh, fourth grade math, science, and social studies. And the last two years, I transferred to the third grade dual language. And now I'm back here at the junior high where I started teaching Spanish one and two. So grateful that she's here and what she's done for our Spanish program. Um, she's raised the level of expectation of instruction in there and of learning and just so pleased with everything I see happening in those classes. So two of my greatest passions have always been, you know, math and Spanish. It's just one of those things, being a native Spanish speaker, it was just always, you know, in my blood. So being um, in that dual language program and just seeing how some of those non-Spanish speakers embrace that culture and that language, that just really was one of those things that just gave me kind of the you know, the green light to go and pursue my um, Spanish certification. I happened to pop in for a walkthrough one time and they were discussing different regions of um, Mexico and Latin America and they were looking at the different music there. They had divided up into little groups and they were given a project to do and they researched the artists and the type of music and then they did presentations. And they were so engaged as they were doing the research, they got really excited about it. She took three or four days doing that versus her just telling them. I have a non-Spanish speaker. I pair them up with the, you know, fluent Spanish speaker. And so they can kind of check each other. You know, so a lot of the thing is with Spanish is some kids are just scared to take that, um, you know, make that step uh, embarrassed. And so that Spanish speaker person was, is there to help them. She's just a quiet, servant-hearted person, all the time noticing quietly that a teacher may be struggling. I try, if I see a struggling teacher, I try to share any of my um, experience with them. And I'm always a listening ear. They can always come ask. You know, my parents didn't go to school, and so I was that person where I would have to kind of figure out by myself. You know, I was the oldest of five kids, and so I would most of the time have to go home and kind of take care of my siblings because you know, my parents had to work. I was also that student that, you know, low socioeconomic, and so I didn't have the name brand shoes, I didn't have the name brand clothes, and so that's just one of those things that, you know, that's my why. I, you know, I just want to have those kids just believe in themselves and just know that just because you have all these obstacles, you just never give up. There's always people to help you.